4600 uses a goal-based approach to do safety. Traditional safety standards such as ISO 26262 and others are more prescriptive. They say, here's how to do safety, and they give you a process or process elements you're required to perform, and they tell you which work products you're supposed to produce. Those standards are not displaced by 4600. 4600's approach is to add another layer of completeness, so it's goal-based. What it says is, here's what a safety case should address. And that tells you what goes in the safety case and the types of activities you need to perform. It does not prescribe any particular engineering approach. As we'll see later, for example, it says, well, you have to have a list of all the hazards that matter. But you can use pretty much any reasonable way to get there. So that means this can work with other safety standards. And the work products from those other safety standards are incorporated into 4600 as part of the safety case. That makes 4600 a standard on how to assess a safety case. In other words, what the minimum coverage requirement is to have a complete enough safety case, although probably you want to do more depending on your system. The properties of a well-formed safety case, such as making sure that all the evidence traces up to goals and the other way around. And independent assessment criteria, so that an independent person can come in and know that your safety case is well-formed.